Hi, I'm Effie Davis, International Artistic Director for Tone and Guy and Label Lamb International. And uh, this is the Duality Collection, our new collection for Tone and Guy. Uh, this is the week. The week is one of the session editorial step-by-steps for our new Duality Collection, and it takes direct inspiration from London Fashion Week. The overall actual shape is going to be very, very flat on the head. And the reason behind the name, the wick, is from the wicker basket. So what I'm going to be doing for you today is a lot of braiding and interlacing, uh, progressing the techniques that you saw from the last collection into the new, more updated and more um, trendier feel, quite grungy within the look. Loads of texture around the perimeter, very, very flat following the head shape. That's something that we actually saw a lot at Fashion Week this season and a beautiful texture all the way through our shoulders. So here's the step-by-step -step for the week. With all editorial work, it is the preparation that will allow you to achieve perfection with the end result. To start with, the hair was washed with Colour Stay shampoo and conditioner, towel dried and volume mousse was applied, using horizontal sections on the roots and throughout the middle ends. The hair was then blast dried using the full heat to activate the product. Once all the hair is dry, brush it away from the face and start to take your sections. Taking a side part into the crown into a profile parting into the nape, two C curvature sections were taken on either side, meeting evenly at the nape. Separate the front and the back by taking a radial parting from ear to ear, leaving a very fine section in between. In front of the radial, separate the section with a diagonal forward parting and repeat this on the opposite side. We are now ready to start the technique. On the two offset C curvatures, the F8 technique was used on a reverse placement. Section the hair just below the crown and comb the hair against the natural fall following the head shape. Split the section into two and take a horizontal parallel towards the face. Place it in the middle and start winding the F8 technique by moving the middle section over and under on the two sections on either side that act as bases. As you move closer to the face, keep adding to the middle sections by taking horizontal partings. The wick is a progression from the F8 technique, adding more sections into it, resembling a wicker basket, hence the name. It's a playful take on different braiding techniques, moving away from the clean, tribal feel of the braid and going into a looser, more textured and undone feeling. While using this technique, use less tension for a more voluminous feeling. The shape comes from our shows from London Fashion Week, where we saw the shapes being flatter on the head shape, combining it with distressed textures for a younger, more playful feel. Continue this down from the crown across the top of the head by keeping a consistency in the size of the sections added, following a figure of eight flow to the way the three sections are worked. Once you've reached the hairline, secure with grips, leaving the lengths at the front out that will be worked on later, and repeat the same technique on the opposite side. On the section on the top of the ear, comb the hair flat and split the section on four even parts. Starting on the right side, go over and under without incorporating the last section on the left. Now take the left side and go under and over without incorporating the section on the right. Repeat the technique until you've run out of hair. Once you've established which section is running through the centre, hold it and pull the rest of the hair towards the hairline to create the push-up four-strand plait. Secure with elastic and pull out the sections gently to add more width to the plait. Repeat the same technique on the opposite panel. On the diagonal forward section, the same principle was used, but working on three sections rather than two. Notice the finer section taken on the right hand side. This is the key and will be used to add section two as you work through these sections. Taking a horizontal section, split it into three and a parallel finer section that comes from the second section on the right and loops through the left going over and under, back and forth by only adding horizontally on every other full circle of the technique. Braiding has now become an essential part of our training. Clients being inspired by what they see on the catwalk and celebrities being photographed, we are now getting requested to replicate these looks within the salons. For our academies, the session and editorial course and the Label M Fashion Fix course are where all of the various braiding techniques are demonstrated and then learnt through the practical workshop sessions.
Once you've reached the hairline, secure with grips and stitch over it using elastic and a needle to secure the sections before removing the grip. Repeat the same technique on the opposite panel. On the section behind the ear, comb the hair to the natural fall and take a horizontal section. Separate the section on four even parts and take a parallel finer section in order to travel through the same manner as before by going through the second section to the right and then looping over and under, traveling back and forth by adding on every full circle on the left hand side. At this point, the model was asked to hold the outer section in order to maintain an even tension on both sides. A total of four sections will be worked and it is this that will start to give you the weaved feeling to the end result of the wick. Correct finger position and placement of your hands will help control the weave. Techniques at first to practice are the three strand inside and outside plait, the twisted plait and the five strand plait. Once these are practiced, practiced and then perfected, moving on to more advanced techniques will be easier to understand. The weaving technique is continued down into the nape and secured with grips. It is then repeated on the opposite back panel before building and detailing the shape. To begin with, the sections around the face were flattened before being folded up into the head creating a much flatter shape. These were then secured by using pins and grips before moving on to detail the lengths within the hair. Details within the shape are taken care of, pushing the finer, longer sections back on themselves, creating a softer, wispier feeling. Continue loose weaves connecting to the various braids together. It is really this point that attention to detail is key to perfect the shape, and again, it's these details that can be varied to the individual. Texturizing volume spray is then applied, giving hold on a dry matte texture, then continuing in the details of the fringe and the softness created in the texture. Label M Resurrection Style Dust is applied before finishing with hairspray. The wick, combining various braiding techniques, progressing on from the F8 technique, leaving the ends looser and creating a distressed texture. The shape kept flatter to the head shape, an idea that came straight from the runways of London Fashion Week. <laughs> <laughs>